Well, you might want to keep your eyes to the sky tonight. Jupiter and Venus will be appearing right next to each other. The two are the solar system's brightest planets, and this only happens about once every 15 years. Dr. Brian Jackson is an associate professor in the physics department at Boise State. He explains why the two planets are going to be so close together. As Jupiter and Venus approach conjunction, that means they get really close to each other, they'll, they're not going to actually make kind of contact in the sky. They won't get quite that close, but they'll get almost as close as the moon is wide in the sky, so they'll be very close. Jackson adds that Jupiter and Venus get near each other every year, but the next time they'll be this close is 2039. Now he says you should be able to pick out Jupiter and Venus pretty easily because they'll be the brightest things in the sky besides the sun and the moon. However, the skies do have to be clear in order to see this. So Thomas, what do you think our chances are here in the Inland Northwest? For the Inland Northwest it ends up being about 50 50. It's like officially partly cloudy for tonight, but it's a small window of opportunity just after sunset when the skies are just dark enough to actually see those planets we have from then to just after seven o'clock to be able to see that conjunction. Now, if they were directly on top of each other, we would call that an occlusion, and that's very rare for objects that don't deal with the moon or the sun, which are a little bit wider in the sky. But at a half a degree of arc length, that is pretty close. It's about the distance of your thumb at arm's length in the sky. You might be able to cover up both of the planets just like that. That is pretty cool. So again, look for that in the western sky because this will be setting just after sunset for tonight. It'll be the closest they're together in 15 years. If you look tomorrow night, Venus will start to get higher and higher in the sky. 